adding a cutting edge back drag to snow dog snow plow please subscribe for, and see my full video unscrew and reinstall here's the part number you'll also need a 15 16 socket I'm installing a back drag snow blade on my snow plow MD 75 and you're gonna need a 15 16 socket an impact if you have it a creeper is helpful you're gonna have on this plow 10 bolts that are located on the bottom of the whole plow this is the cutting edge I'm using it's an OEM the part number is located right here also please subscribe give a thumbs up to my channel and what I did is I tilted the snow plow slightly over to get it up a little bit higher so I can unscrew it and then I'm going to remove all the bolts and add the cutting edge behind it while leaving uh, the cutting edge in the front still on okay so this is a back drag cutting edge to my snow dog MD 75 If you're wondering I did build the wings for my snow plow and it works great you uh, you move a lot more material highly recommend it these are my snow plow wings I built
one of the bolts are seized, rusted out, so I'm going to have to cut it. Make sure you wear protection for safety. And that's how you do it.
unfortunately I have a bolt that I couldn't get off it was too rusted so I'm going to use a spare that I have and cut it down to size Now that I cut that bolt down to size, I'm going to re-bolt everything. But before I bolt everything, I'm going to use anti-seize since these bolts are not stainless. And uh, but I'm not and I'm not going to bolt it all the way because you can adjust that bag drag. So I'm going to get it just snug, and then I'm going to lower the plow while it's straight, so everything adjusts, everything lines up. And once that's done, then I will tighten once it's on the floor.